or girls dreaming dreaming okay so dreaming and let me put this here again because sleeping here the birds there's a a desk two desks and those desks are at the edge of a hole in a very, very narrow space and the art of that dream like often dreams have artistic arrangements for not calling them impossible okay in the dream just the dream first okay just strip it down to literally what you were dreaming not what you associate with later two desks people sit there bury a place don't fall in the hole don't fall in the hole and how how big is the hole considerable but not so that the people who die with, except no you you die because it's in it's in a narrow space in a private house that's kind of the dream I will come harmless nothing happened nobody fell in the dream but I saw I saw a place like this in Syria Damascus when they built a shopping mall in a place that was historical as well built by Assad the new father of the current bloody regime He had to be a kind of a sex symbol, the sex symbol of the nation, actually. Pretty much like Putin and all these other Che Guevara, you no? Know? That was my stomach. So I was thinking it's the first time in, when I was around that time in. You know, in Syria, when I worked on that lady, and when I realized revolutions need also sex symbols. Now, what's sexier than, I mean, what's masculine than the warrior? No. So it was always at the time when I was in Syria contemplating because the Iraqi war was was rampant uh, next door. It was just rampant new and brings me into the Brings me into the Middle East. Brings me into the middle one of the women. The first, the first sense that came to. I mean, the first association with a a woman was 
a Japanese woman, a friend of Rika, and you are one of the first Japanese women I also met in Japan, I mean, in, here in New York in the 90s. Secondary rap, I mean, what's interesting about her, Mia is her name, Mia Iwasaki, or something like that, Mia Iwasaki. What's interesting about her is that she was uh, working, she was very excited for this famous artist who sits in a wheelchair whose show shows a pace and who shows is was scheduled to go up at the at the Hirsham Museum and then he, it was cancelled. It was cancelled. It was cancelled. It was cancelled. Why? Why was he cancelled? Why was he cancelled? And he did. That artist got me to claims. They surfaced. Supposedly, he, he didn't. He didn't rape somebody, but he had a very. one reason why he made it into the news, he defended himself, I mean some, uh, some people, I think some show because of that was cancelled, some show was cancelled, but I think the real reason why the show was cancelled at the hearphone, and believe me, a lot of people defended him. But it was definitely in the news. I knew him and then I think he had some show, he had something already at the hair shop. That was on display, maybe that had to go down, I don't know. But, but I think what really cancelled his show had simply to do, not with me too, but had to do with the fact that he was is art very provocative as a white man using political symbols that are associated with believe it or not associated with American history symbols, namely stuff related to lynching and, and hanging and just the worst nightmare objects you can imagine in relationship to American history. Slavery, you know, hanging, noses, like a lot of his work was about that. And in Europe, they didn't care neither about the one nor the other. He had, wherever he went, wherever there was a big, a big thing, wherever you went, that artist, and I have to think about the name, was really big and sometimes I meet him and yes he was tall and white and definitely whatever you want to call it like 
the kind of whiteness associated with Nordic cultures. And it's kind of insane. Because yesterday I met the guy who is unemployed and who is in the hospitality image industry, by the way. His image is literally fabulous, just sitting in the bed. Sitting, sitting on the bench in the sitting on the bench in the seventies, Center Park, a Polish, no, he looked Polish, he looked Russian, but in fact, I talked to him. He's Irish. Thirty years here as a waiter. In. We talked a lot, he had an amazing understanding about, you know, precisely these histories of migration in Udachi very well. And for sure got a green card, most likely a passport. And he kind of said, I asked him, why did you leave? And he said, well, Every breakfast, you hear a bomb went up and another 22 people blown up. Another 22 people were blown up in Belfast. And, uh, well, anyway, brought me, brought me then, brought me then. <sighs> Suppose he doesn't pay any rent. I guess he must have worked something out. No children. Double income, but he gets support. Uh, it's like a waiter or something, definitely. I don't know what his situation is, but he kind of smiled. He didn't go into details. And well, that's the kind of point where I don't see that uh, going on in the park. And I had a goal. Okay, what was my goal? And think about the fact Miyawasaki. But think about the fact that falling into the pit hole, into the hole. And for whatever reason, I still remember a news report. Something I read at the time. Not too long ago, I think he was in London, when I was in London. Or yeah, definitely. Oh. oh. Was it a story about London? Because a scratch my heart means I need to wash my hair. <sighs> means when I was in London, I read it in the Guardian or whatever damned shit. I mean, damned. I mean, I was definitely nervous and stressed. I had to wait. I was very busy for my opening in London. Show there at this in the most pathetic way with my most pathetic fashion picture. Anyhow, in London, guess what? Somebody had a house, or was it in Paris? And just against the law was digging 
now with a couple of more floors where in which direction this person would go lower 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 and that brings us to those famous cities because it's not only an issue in New York deep going deep down is the talk of town deep town is like uh, what we are talking digging holes within a house go lower why do you think people do that? I mean, it's obvious. Either they are bored, no. Either they have too much money, no. Either they are really, really insane, no. Either they are starving for space and don't want to just rent. An external storage or whatever, but just go lower, lower at high costs. No, I mean, let's just say it's all of the above. Yes, that's kind of was. I mean, okay, so the idea is really what is going on because legally some London restaurants started doing this and when I was in Tokyo one of my first show in Tokyo that was precisely the case in that museum where I showed first time believe it or not was it the first time in a museum no but first time a one person show in Tokyo very early on it's called the weekend museum and they had two floors down even two or even three i think two just two so so and that was for storage of books and stuff but also it's all concrete so why not go in the lower if you can and then i started understand to be always fascinated by buildings that go up next to your house or there where you walk and then you start seeing the, the old houses that have been torn down and then a few discussions about it and when living a place where everything is history where I come from people are sensitive to old middle age walls being destroyed like old facades were kept but the internal shit fuck it they went down and each time they went down into a hole to build something uh, maybe to also two floors or maybe just one floor depending guess what they would come up with shit from even you know digging up graves digging up bare bombs because sometimes that she was bombed and just badly remade or burned out or you would find really shit from periods of earlier civilization meaning from the middle ages and in that Ludens place where I grew up and include also Feldkirch I guess I spent quite 
can't even go that much down because rocks and, and dynamite and you get the point it's maybe on a rock formation or it's on a sand formation the segmentation I mean like segmentations of I mean different ages of stone formations below and then you need to study those and you see man I need to have a proper foundation because if not that that house is gonna be washed away or it's just like basically building on sand so you have to go down make sure the shit isn't coming down the shit you blow buff you know and that's kind of the situation here too because technically I'm on the third floor one two three you know three is that correct there's a ground floor and below the ground floor it's a floor and then it's one two three because I'm technically on the second floor it's called a parlor floor which some people think on the on the first floor depending on how you count and then I have man I still have two above me and now that's a little bit more fancier more problematic <sighs> Who I have above me because that makes me want to fall asleep and even be, uh, you know, really below. Anyway, fights, conflicts, what's allowed, what's not. Sides, so to answer my either side, depending on who you talk to, makes sense. Either side's horrible stories. Basic question does horror justify doing horror? I would say no. I would say no. Listen. They go, they have also their own conquests, their own justification, because in the end, those people who get attacked are often also attackers in a conflict, to a, in a conflict zone. And some then really, you know, act very aggressively. another way of saying you know what I don't want to refer to certain conflicts we have in war zones because it's kind of a dynamic at borders same as in Russia that go to Israel go to go to Palestine go to go to any other conflict go to the French border go to Czech Republic go to where you want to go put a little bit time on it because Germany right now is not at war with anybody they just pay the other the Americans and other people they pay constantly 
That'd be nice. That's really nice. Post or go to uh, you know arrangement. You keep out. You pay a little bit of contributions. Yeah, neutral. In you just in case you really need it, and then you have also like the healthy gray, the Western alliance. You know, basically the healthy the Americans, the British. And so on, but they work also hopefully a lot inside, not at the front. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I need a bit. I need to go on sleep, you know, let's say. Because and now should I already apologize to to the Palestinians, to the Israelis, to the Syrians. Turks to the courts to the Grusia, you know, to, to the, uh, as, I mean, like the current areas of those Eastern European conflict zones to the Uyghurs, to the Chinese, to the Chinese and Uyghurs, to the different uh, sizes people in. what she's doing with them then. Again, I think I said to her, had a dog. And I tried to talk to this other person who talked to me endlessly. Her name is Anya. And gone, she must have seen me talk to actually really long for I would say since a year and a half always on and off we talk always she breaks off why I never know is she really watching my shit uh -huh. because I don't know who watches on YouTube these pathetic wake up dreams. Again, they're in nature biographical. In essence, in essence, events that are for sure, in this case, oniric. Related. and tragic comic or tragic because I didn't fall down that but the current code of restaurants wouldn't allow a restaurant like that 
The first time I was really into architectural curiosities and also distinct from distinct and different and what the Teufel different. But now that was in Tokyo in this weekend museum. I learned a lot from there. I read, I read a lot all my life about the buildings and architecture. That's why, particularly around that time, when I was over there in Tokyo, it was far from West Freedom as today, as knowledgeable as today, far. And I was very familiar with certain people. Mm. So I at least found their young lovers in that zone, just, just in Tokyo. And I'm talking about David Hammonds, one of the most elusive artists. And I went to see this show. I made appointments and I couldn't even make it into there, into the show. And tried it here, tried it downtown. Anyhow, well, I saw images. Pretty much very good. But I have to say, when he became very known, then not so many people worked in this category. Became a huge star instantly and made precisely those works with hair and all the stuff. In the early 90s. And it goes back and then that discussion was David Hammond's. That discussion was literally stunning and I saw him David the other the other day I mean <laughs> before COVID two years ago and Metro picture not the show I mean a Metro movie theater you know House and Street that one you know late evening show I went by myself and rarely I go by myself and I kind of but we had no idea that at the time we had no idea that COVID was imminent but we pointed to it at least I did, because here too the Times wrote about COVID China, about the disease out of the lab of Wuhan. That's what they say, but supposedly it needs to be constantly proved, because they don't want to call it an Asian flu. Asian disease because that too brings us to Yesterday I printed out this, uh, this story by this kind of guy who wanted to be a 
had it from Mass. Mass bar. A shooter, definitely a shooter. Or a garage in church, a shooter. I think I should turn the shit off and fall asleep again. So I'll be on the side between five and six, somewhere approaching the spring, June 21st. I think I want to give the kids the shit before the trial. enough if not it's worthless you need to small a waste of money too so just give it away to them my kids because I have to to it for a while. What the fuck, one year is enough. And two years they kept the kids away from me. Not see them, except for what? Picking my nose time. <laughs> In September, and it was ridiculous. Frustrations, I see the wrong thing. But I was frustrated. Sorry for the sneak. Okay, sorry. And other ones. Anyway, constantly promising to come by, take me, whatever, do something, walk, eat something, talk. personal diplomacy for me incomprehensive why people do this why anybody calling me texting me I'm there I never get it why not always 
the middle gets start to go through by broken up friendships because in Bismillah this guy don't talk for months, six weeks and then suddenly it's all that's too much. Leave me alone. Tonight is one of those amazing openings. Soon an opening, I'm gonna go, that's for sure. Uh, somebody wants to come by 3 p.m. Somebody served, he has the papers hanging at the door. Chinese American guy, curious what happens. Lindsay Johnson, Lindsay. Lyndon Jones, Lyndon Jones. Shit, I bought a ticket to Europe. One week out in October, hopefully. No court date because I was too cheap. I should have added twenty-seven dollars euros so I could have changed it. I already regret it. I didn't do that. So I could have changed it. Now if to change, forget about it. Where's less all the money? An eight hundred dollar ticket to Europe. What the fuck? Curious what happens. I don't want to wake up. Dealing with shit. That's kind of what is life all about. Dealing with shit and stay sane and try to come out ahead of all that insanities. Because, uh, you know, I could end the same way and blow. Asked one of, one of my own class. Leah wants suddenly for every step money like crazy. Yeah, don't we? Damn shit. Okay. Pim, go in now. Turn it off. Put it on. Fall asleep again. Oh, this is 
just walks a smooth down, sprays my head, holds my head in a dream, a dream. Talking just, just now the image came in. It had to do something with maybe Rika. But I was there and I just, I just, just, just not had a dream image. And somewhere in Brooklyn, a woman comes down with a spray, sprays my head, holds my head, leaves. A form of stupid blessing. Just a dream, not could easily be interpreted as some like a vision. You know, for those insane people who have religious awakenings, no <laughs> nonsense, just dream. They're dreaming and they have a, they have a an arsenal of, you know, an entire, an entire menu of uh, figures and cultural figures. And then recently we had COVID and we had washing and we had this and that. So obviously uh, it's pretty normal. Uh, people holding your hand sometimes in a certain way. Walking down, they spray your hand, they wash it. There was a lot of washing to be done during COVID time. Still, quite many masks. But officially, it's now over coming to a sort in New York City and state. Mask requires. Masks are now. Uh, 70 people got a shot of the shit. But they're the hundred uh, I think that I saw enough. There are more. I think I don't want to move an hour. Oh, 45 minutes again. Uh, if anybody wants to see this shit, good luck. I don't look at shit, that's for sure. I don't look at anything. Just talk and give interpretations of dreams. And I do this as somebody who is kind of. You know, work quite a bit about dreams, therefore I kind of not just uh, ramble, I'm aware of what it means and what it could mean. The systematicity of research. Hence, I keep doing this with a certain systematicity of uh, approach. Soon, 49 minutes, talking, 50s, pretty much okay. I call it even a film, a wake up film by Ryan Aganar. Me, an artist, okay? Learned too much psychology and philosophy and history and was too much interested in Lacanian theory. And again, one more time, me. We showed half my children to co educate. Well, eventually they will find a way here and then I talk and then they come back or not and others drift away. Why do they drift away? Again, I'm sorry, maybe I should just send them a link. Others are upset. Anyway, good luck. Thank you, sorry for that.